Friends, we know it's been a long afternoon. Prijatelji, znam da je bilo dugo popodne. I will keep my comments a little bit shorter. Ovaj put ću svoje komentare i misli malo skratiti. And uh, promise to get you out on time. I obećavam da ćete izaći iz dvorane na vrijeme. I've heard so much wisdom. I've heard so much wisdom this afternoon. Ovo popodne sam čuo toliko mudrosti. That... Um, I'm, I'm going to just talk about one thing this afternoon. Samo ću o jednoj stvari pričati. Everything that has already been said, I completely agree with. Sve ono što je do sada rečeno, potpuno se slažem s time. And I like what we've already heard this afternoon because it was very practical. I drago mi je zbog svega onoga što smo čuli jer je bilo jako praktično. And both of these gentlemen are correct that there has to be an application to what we're talking about. Oba ova gospodina su u pravu u tome što pričaju da mora postojati primjena onoga što čujemo ovdje. It's a wonderful thing if we begin to understand God as our Father. That's wonderful. Prekrasno je početi razumijevati da je Bog naš Otac. To je prekrasno. But there's almost 8 billion people living on the planet. Ali gotovo 8 milijardi ljudi živi na našem planetu. And they also need to know that God is their father. I oni isto trebaju saznati da je Bog njihov otac. And God probably would like to use you to help him in that experience. I Bog vjerojatno želi iskoristiti vas da ih dovede do tog iskustva. One of the things of a principle I, I want to share with you just to begin our time together. Jedan princip bih želio podijeliti s vama čisto da započnemo ovo naše zajedničko vrijeme. The best way to be a good father is to first be a good son. Najbolji način da budemo dobar otac je da prvo budemo dobar sin. I know that many of you are leaders. Znam da ste mnogi od vas ovdje voditelji. You also must be a follower. Vi isto morate znati kako biti onaj koji prati. These two are not exclusive of each other. To dvoje ne isključuje jedno drugo. They have to fit together. Moraju se uklopiti jedno u drugo. Jesus had authority. Isus je imao autoritet. And he wasn't afraid to use it. I nije se koristio, nije se libio koristiti ga. He knew who he was. Znao je tko je on. Jesus also continually told us he was under the authority of the Father. Ali Isus nam je uvijek govorio kako je on pod autoritetom Oca. Do you remember when the Roman centurion asked Jesus to help his slave who was very sick? Sjećate se kad je rimski satnik pitao Isusa da mu pomogne, pomogne njegovom robu koji je bio bolestan. And Jesus began to go towards his house. Isus je krenuo prema njegovoj kući. Then the centurion sent a messenger. I onda je satnik poslao glasnika. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Nisam dostojan da uđeš pod krov moj. Just speak the word, it'll happen. Samo reci riječ i dogodit će se. And the Romans said, I too am a man under authority. I Rimljanin, satnik moj, rekao, i ja sam čovjek pod vlašću. But I am also a man with authority. Ali sam isto tako i čovjek s vlašću. The people under me follow my orders. Ljudi ispod mene slijede moje naredbe. And I follow the orders of those above me. A ja slijedim naredbe onih koji su iznad mene. And it says that Jesus marveled at the man's faith. I kažu da se Isus začudio i iznenadio čovjekovom vjerom. And said, I've never seen faith like this before. Rekao je, do sad nisam vidio ovakvu vjeru u Izraelu. And the boy was healed immediately. I dječak je bio odmah izlječen. To know whose authority you're under znati pod čim smo mi autoritetom and to know who you have authority over is very very important i znati nad kime mi imamo autoritet je jako jako bitno and everything we've heard so far this afternoon this is a key principle i sve ono što smo čuli ovo popodne za sve to ovo je ključni princip we need you to be fathers trebamo da budete očevi And God needs you to be his sons. A Bog 
od vas treba da vi budete njegovi sinovi. Practice being a father. Vježbajte kako biti otac. But always practice being a son. Ali uvijek vježbajte kako biti sin. When these two come together, we are unstoppable. Kad se te dvije stvari spoje, nezaustavljivi smo. And that is the secret of the spiritual life. I to je tajna duhovnog života. Take responsibility for those you're over. Uzeti odgovornost za ono nad čime jesmo. And be completely surrendered to those whom you are under. I potpuno se podložiti onome koji je iznad nas. I was saying yesterday that in the gospel there's one very important theme. Jučer sam govorio da u evanđelju ima jedna jako jako bitna tema. Jesus spends much of his words in the gospel revealing the Father to us. Isus mnogo riječi troši u evanđelju da bi nam opisao Oca, da bi nam donio Oca. And in the time we have left this afternoon, i u vremenu koje imamo u ovom popodnevu, I want to look at a few of the things Jesus tells us about the Father. Želim pogledati na par stvari koje nam Isus govori o Ocu. It's a very long list. Dugačka je lista. We're not going to go through it all. Nećemo proći sve. It's just a few of those things he says. Samo nekoliko tih stvari. But here's one thing Jesus repeated many times. Jedna stvar koju je Isus mnogo puta ponovio. Now he said this to his disciples. Rekao je to svojim učenicima. To the people who believed in Jesus, this is what he said. Ljudima koji su vjerovali u Isusa, ovo im kaže. Be like your heavenly father. Budite kao vaš nebeski otac. It's a good beginning to realize that God is our father. To je dobar početak da počnemo svačati Bog je naš otac. And it's a wonderful next step to begin to live as the sons of the father. I odličan početak za to da živimo kao sinovi tog oca. But what he's calling us to is to begin to live like the father. Ali ono što nas poziva u stvari je da počnemo živjeti poput oca, kao otac. There's something very unique about men. Postoji nešto jako jedinstveno sa muškarcima. People tell us we're very poor in our emotions. Ljudi kažu da smo jako siromašni sa svojim emocijama. At least our wives tell us that. Bar nam to naša žena kaže. And we we don't know how to communicate. I da ne znamo kako komunicirati. Our wives tell us that too. Isto nam to kažu žene. But there's one thing about men that is amazing. Ali jedna stvar je nevjerojatna. Men need heroes. Muškarci trebaju heroje. Men want to be part of the team. Muškarci žele biti dio tima. Men want to have leaders that if they had to they would follow them off a cliff. Muškarci žele imati takve vođe da da je potrebno da bi slijedili čak i da skoče sa neke litice. We're looking for something bigger than ourselves. Tražimo nešto što je veće od nas. As selfish as we are in the world, koliko god da smo sebični u svijetu, we're longing to find something more important than me. Cijelo vrijeme žuđamo za time da pronađemo nešto što je veće od mene. And so whether we realize it or not, we're all looking for heroes. Svatili to ili ne, svi tražimo i tragamo za herojima. It's so sad that among our young people today, toliko je tužno da među našim mladima danas, many of their heroes are perhaps not the best examples. Mnogi njihovi heroji nažalost nisu baš najbolji primjeri i uzori. You always hear some story of some uh, famous movie star or musician whose whose life goes wrong uvijek čujemo priče o glazbenicima ili filmskim zvijezdama čiji životi odu u krivo and people say i want to be like him i ljudi počnu govoriti želim biti kao on in the bible there's a term for that u bibliji postoji jedan izraz za to shepherds of death pastiri smrti they lead people into bad places 
vode ljude na kriva mjesta. But all of us want a hero. Ali svi mi želimo heroje. And we, we need that. I potrebno nam je to. It's how God built us. Tako nas je Bog stvorio. Heroes are good. Heroji su dobri. As long as they're good heroes. Dogod su dobri heroji. The father can be all of our hero. Otac nam svima može biti heroj. And he will not lead you astray. I on nas neće voditi u krivo. He's brave. On je hrabar. He's strong. On je snažan. He's wise. On je mudar. He's generous. On je velikodušan. He's courageous. On je odvažan. He's, he's brilliant. On je briljantan. This is a hero. To je pravi heroj. And we're proud to follow him. I ponosni smo što ga možemo slijediti. So Jesus says to us, be like your heavenly father. Isus nam kaže, budite kao vaš nebeski otac. We, we cannot disqualify ourselves from that. Ne možemo se isključiti iz toga. Well, that doesn't apply to me. To se ne odnosi na mene. I admire the father. Divim se ocu. I, I'm glad he loves me. Drago mi je što me voli. But he's, he's God, I'm not God. Ali on je Bog, a ja nisam Bog. How could I possibly be like that hero? Kako bi uopće mogao biti poput tog heroja? Jesus answered that too. Isus nam na to odgovara. What's impossible for man is possible for God. Ono što je čovjeku nemoguće, Bogu je moguće. There is a very interesting line in the um, epistle of St. John. Uh, postoji jedna jako zanimljiva uh, rečenica uh, of, u poslanici Svetog yeah. Ivana Apostola. And this is what John says. I ovo nam Ivan kaže. See how much love the Father loves us. Pogledajte koliko nas Otac ljubi. In that we are called the children of God. Da se zovemo djeca Božja. Now the next line is very interesting. Idući redak je jako zanimljiv. Beloved, ljubljeni, we are God's children now. Mi smo sada djeca Božja. So on this Saturday afternoon, ovo subotu večer, subotu popodne, as we sit in this hotel, kako sjedimo u ovom hotelu, we are the children of God. Mi smo djeca Božja. Not because you think that. Ne zato što ti to možda misliš. Because God has spoken that. Nego zato što je to Bog rekao. And at this time of the afternoon, mi u ovom trenutku danas, I don't even know how you're feeling right now. Ne znam ni kako se uopće osjećate. In a certain sense, I don't care. <laughs> Na neki način nije meni briga. Because God has said you are his son. Zato što je Bog rekao ti si njegov sin. It doesn't matter what you think, it only matters what God says. Uopće nije bitno ono što ti misliš, nego što Bog kaže. So we could stop now and break up the champagne and celebrate. We are the children of God. Mogli bi sad stat, otvori šampanjac i proslaviti jer smo djeca Božja. But John's going to take it another step further. Ali Ivan ide još korak dalje. John says, my brothers, we are God's children right now. Ivan kaže, mi smo sada djeca Božja. Listen to this. Slušajte ovo. What we shall become has not yet been seen. Ono što ćemo tek postati, još ne znamo, još ne vidje smo. You, you mean there's more to this? On, možemo ga pitati što misliš da ima više od ovoga. I would be happy just to be a child of God. Ja bi bio dovoljno sretan samo da sam Božje dijete. Yeah, but there is more. Da, ali ima više. Someday, jednog dana, we shall be like him. Mi ćemo biti poput njega. How, how is that even possible? Kako je to uopće moguće? How is it possible that a room full of sinners can become like him? Kako je moguće da soba puna grešnika postane poput njega. I believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
Я вірую у скресноче Ісуса Христа. I believe in the virgin birth of Jesus. Вірую у дівчинське народження Ісуса Христа. I believe Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the dead. Вірую, де Ісус Христу умер на крижу і устав від мертвих. I believe the miracles of Jesus. Вірую у Ісусова чудеса. I believe the teachings of Jesus. Вірую у його учення. But someday I shall be like him. Але єдного дня да чу бити као он. That's where my faith is tested. Ту се моя віра ставля на кушню. But he said it, not us. Але он є тор. Ото он рекао, а не ми. Your destiny, your future is to be like him. Твоя судбина, твоя будучност є у тому, да постанеш као он. That, that's your fulfillment. То є ісполнення твого живота. That's why you were knitted in your mother's womb. Зато си саткан у майчиної утробі. So that someday da jednog dana you would be like him. Da jednog dana postaneš kao on, poput njega. That, 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 that's, that's, that's crazy. To je ludo. It, it's fantastic. Fantastično je. It's what God has said. To ono što je Bog rekao. So i don't know you very well. Ne znam vas najbolje. But I do know your future. Ali znam vašu budućnost. If you remain in Christ, ako ostanete u Kristu, someday, jednog dana, you shall be like him. Bićete poput njega. Is that amazing? Zar to nije nevjerojatno? But here's the thing. Ali evo jedne stvari. This process doesn't start after you're dead. Ovaj proces ne započinje nakon vaše smrti. It's already started at your baptism. On je već započeo na vašem krštenju. This process has already begun. Ovaj proces je već započeo. You're already on your way to the fulfillment of your destiny. Vi ste već na putu ispunjenja vaše sudbine. Maybe you're at the beginning. Možda na početku. Maybe you're closer to the end. Možda ste bliže nekom kraju. It doesn't matter, you're on your way. Nije bitno, na putu ste. So when your elder brother says to you, kad ti tvoj stari brat kaže, be like your heavenly father. Budi kao svoj nebeski otac. <laughs> He's not kidding. On se ne šali. He expects you to be like your heavenly father. Očekuje od tebe da budeš kao taj nebeski otac. This... <laughs> This isn't complicated. To nije komplicirano. It's it's not easy. Nije it's lako, not complicated. Ali nije komplicirano. So Jesus will demand a lot of you. Isus će zahtijevati puno od vas. And it would be impossible i bit će nemoguće if you had to do it on your own. Ako to morate činiti svojim snagama. But by Jesus at work in your life ali po Isusovom djelovanju u vašem životu through the ministry of the church po služenju crkve through the activity of the holy spirit po aktivnosti duha svetoga we're actually planning on you becoming like him mi računamo na to i planiramo s time da postanete poput njega that's what we're counting on na to računamo because that is what your elder brother has called you to jer na to vas je pozvao vaš stariji brat. So I want to take just a few minutes. Želim uzeti svega par minuta. What are some of the ways of your father? Koji su neki od načina djelovanja vašeg oca? And I'm not going to talk about detail as much as a few basic principles. Neću toliko ulaziti u detalje, nego u neke osnovne principe. But these principles are something that can begin to be activated this afternoon. I ti principi su nešto na čemu možete počet raditi i primjenjivati ovo popodne. You you can begin to be more like your heavenly father this afternoon. Ovo popodne vam već možete počet više ličit na vašeg oca. You, you probably won't get it perfect. Vjerojatno neće biti savršeno. You probably won't get it exactly right. Vjerojatno neće biti potpuno ispravno. But you can start right now. Al možete počet sada. So let's look at a few of those. Pogledajmo njih par. One of the qualities of your father is he is extremely generous. Jedna od kvaliteta vašeg oca je u tome da je 
jako velikodušan. Ekstremno velikodušan. Do you know the term in um, St. Paul says the Lord loves a happy giver? Da, uh, uh, gospodin voli vesela darivatelja. The, the better translation says the Lord loves a delirious giver. <laughs> Bolji opis, bolji prijevod bi bio uh, Bog voli razuzdanog darivatelja. You know, you, you can put a euro in the basket možete staviti jedan euro u košaricu and complain the whole time you're doing it. I cijelo vrijeme se žali dok to radite. I mean, thank you for the euro. Hvala na euro. But if you're going to gripe and complain the whole time, ako ćeš se cijelo vrijeme žalit, do you think your father gripes and complains when he gives you things? Misliš da se tvoj otac žali dok ti daje stvari? Yesterday Jesus told us that it was the father's joy to give us the kingdom. Jučer nam je Isus rekao da se Bog raduje u tome da nam daje kraljevstvo. And when you give your physical your biological children things you don't say well here's your food enjoy it kad ti svoje biološkoj djeci daješ hranu ne govoriš evo ti hrana ajde uživaj you want a new diaper okay it's nove pelene ajde evo ti we 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 give generously dajemo i darežljivi smo radosno and jesus uses us to challenge ourselves isus koristi nas same da bi nas izazvao If if you are willing to be generous, ako si ti spreman biti darežljiv, how much more will your father joyfully, happily, deliriously give on to you? Koliko će više onda tvoj otac radosno, čak i razuzdano biti velikodušan prema tebi? Let me offer you one practical bit of advice. Da vam dam jedan praktičan savjet. If you find yourself giving with reluctance, ako se nađete u situaciji da dajete sa ono malo otpora or being reluctant about giving, ili vam imamo, imate otpor prema davanju, take a moment to think of the generosity of God. Probajte uzeti trenutak i razmišljajte o Božoj velikodušnosti i darežljivosti. And if you have a problem understanding the generosity of God ako imaš problem sa razumijevanjem božje darežljivosti i velikodušnosti look at a crucifix pogledaj na križ because that is the generosity of God jer to je božja darežljivost now God gave his son bog je dao svoga sina i think in a way with great sorrow mislim sigurno na neki način sa ogromnom tugom as his boy died on the cross jer je njegov dječak dečko, dečko umirao na križu but he gave also with great hope ali, because that was going to free up the rest of us ali sa velikom nadom jer je to dovelo do oslobođenja nas ostalih yeah. don't take this too literally nemojte uzeti ovo predoslovno in in one sense na jedan način good friday Veliki petak, three o'clock, tri sata. The father lost Jesus. Otac je izgubio Isusa. But he got you. Ali dobio je tebe. He gave up his son. Dao je svoga sina. And he recovered another son. A dobio je drugoga. I can't even begin to describe the pain in the heart of god ne mogu ani početi opisivati bol u božjem srcu but neither could i describe the joy of getting you back into his arms ali ni radost što je tebe primio ponovno u svoje naruče we all know the mystery of giving svi znamo o tajstvu davanja sometimes it hurts ponekad boli sometimes it costs us everything Ponekad sve traži od nas. Sometime we give with tears. Ponekad dajemo sa suzama u očima. But there's a deep joy and a hope even in the tears. Ali u tim suzama je duboka nada i radost. So let me ask you this. Postavit ću vam ovo pitanje. Starting from this afternoon going forward. Počevši od ovog popodnevna pa nadalje. Would you ask your father to teach you about generosity? 
Da li si spreman pitati svog oca da te nauči kako biti velikodušan? Just, just ask him about that. Samo ga pitaj o tome, pričaj s njim o tome. And if you ask that sincerely, you will get an answer. I ako ga to iskreno pitaš, dobit ćeš odgovor. He'll show you what's good in your heart. Pokazat će ti što je dobro u tvome srcu. And he'll show you what needs to change. I pokazat će ti ono što treba promijeniti. But make a decision starting this afternoon to live a more generous life. Ali donesite odluku ovog popodnevna da ćete živjeti život velikodušnije. Because your heavenly Father is very generous with you. Jer je vaš nebeski otac jako velikodušan prema vama. Another quality about your father. Još jedna kvaliteta. He is so oca, he is so patient with us. Jako je strpljiv s nama. I bet every man here has made a promise to God and then broke that promise. Vjerujem da je svako od nas ovdje obećao nešto Bogu a da to nije ispunio. We made vows. Činimo zavjete and then didn't fulfill them. I onda ih ne ispršimo. We promised we would never sin again. Obećamo da više nikad nećemo griješiti. And then we went off and sinned again. I onda ponovno zgriješimo. And he's still your father. On je i dalje tvoj otac. He's not given up on you. On nije odustao od tebe. The devil will tell you, <laughs> you might as well quit now. Džavo će ti reći, možeš odmah odustati, gotovo je. And the father says, try again. A otac kaže, pokušaj ponovo. I love you. Volim te. I believe in you. Vjerujem u tebe. I believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Vjerujem u tebe više nego što ti sam vjeruješ u sebe. Yeah, you made a mistake. Da, napravio si pogrešku. Yeah, you got selfish, you forgot who you were. Da, postao si sebičan i zaboravio si tko si. But come back to me and I'll teach you again. Ali vrati mi se i ponovno ću te naučiti. Are, are we that patient? Jesmo li mi toliko strpljivi? With, with our own children? Sa svojom vlastitom djecom? With our, with our wives? sa našim ženama that person down the street who always irritates us sa tom osobom niz ulicu koja nas uvijek živcira our older brother once said je naš stari brat jednom rekao it's pretty easy to be nice to the people who are nice to you lako je biti dobar prema osobama koji su dobre prema tebi anybody can do that svako to može učiniti the test is can you be patient with the people who aren't patient with you Pravi ispit je biti strpljiv sa osobama koje nisu strpljive s tobom. Can you f- um, give them another chance when they won't even talk to you? Jesi li im ti spreman dati novu šansu kad one uopće nisu spremne pričati s tobom? Starting this afternoon, počevši s ovim popodnevom, make a decision. Činite odluku that in the name of the Father, da ćete u ime Oca, you're going to enter into a new adventure in patience. Uči u novu avanturu sa strpljivosti. I, I have to give you a little warning. Moram dati jedno upozorenje. If you pray for this, ako budete molili za ovo, your heavenly father, vaš nebeski otac, will, will give you all kinds of opportunities <laughs> to dati, grow in this. Jako puno prilika da rastete u tome. And by a day or two later you'll go back and say I didn't mean this much. I nakon dan dva ćete se vratiti i reći nisam baš mislio ovoliko. Be patient. Budite strpljivi. And if I may ask please also be patient with yourself. I ako mogu zamoliti isto budite strpljivi sami sa sobom. We come home from these retreats and we are on fire. Dolazimo kući sa ovakvih duhovnih obnova i zapaljeni smo. That's it from now on. I'm 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 a new man. To je to, od sada sam novi čovjek. Until I'm the old man. <laughs> Dok opet ne dođem na starog čovjeka. Please be patient. Budite strpljivi. We heard today that God is peeling this off layer by layer by layer. Čuli smo već da Bog nas sa nas skida jedan sloj po sloj. So a few more layers are going to be coming off over the next couple days. Vjerojatno kroz idući nekoliko dana će se par slojeva još uvijek skidati. One time Jesus told us something very interesting about our father. Jednom nam Isus rekao jednu jako zanimljivu stvar o ocu. He said, "Don't be concerned too much about Oh God, what what am I going to eat? When will you give me clothes? Are you going to fix my car? Can you get me a job?" 
Nemojte biti previše zabrinuti o tome da pitate Boga što ću jesti, što ću raditi, jer mi možeš popraviti auto. And here's what our brother said. I evo što nam brat kaže. Just, just go be with your father. Just go with your father. Samo odi budi sa svojim ocem. Close the door. Zatvori vrata. And whisper to your father in secret. I šapći svome ocu u tajnosti, u skrovitosti. And your father who hears in secret. I tvoj otac koji čuje u skrovitosti. Will respond back to you. Će ti odgovoriti. Jesus says your father already knows what you need even before you ask. Isus kaže vaš otac zna što ti treba prije nego što si uopće zatražio. He, he, he really does. I stvarno zna. Now here's something interesting. Evo jedna zanimljiva stvar. I mean God is God, he knows all things. Okay. Bog je Bog i sve zna. But isn't it interesting that God wants you to whisper to him? Ali nije li zanimljivo da Bog želi da mu šapćeš? In other words, when we whisper We share the secrets of our heart with another person. S drugim riječima, kada šapućemo, dijelimo sa drugom osobom duboku intimu našeg srca. There is a certain intimacy when two people whisper to one another. Postoji jedna razina intimnosti kad si ljudi počnu šaputati. Because for a moment we shut the world out. Jer na trenutak zatvaramo se za ostatak svijeta. And we share the secrets of our hearts. I dijelimo tajne naših srca. Isn't it interesting that Jesus says the Father wants to whisper to us? Nije zanimljivo da Isus kaže da Otac želi da želi da se šapućemo. Why doesn't the Father use a big thunder clap? Zašto Bog ne kaže želim da se grmimo? Why doesn't the Father use a big bolt of lightning? Zašto ne koristi ogromnu ogroman bljesak svjetlosti? Why does the Father want you to whisper to him? Zašto Otac želi da mu šapućeš? because he wants you that close jer te želi toliko blizu and he wants you to let him that close i želi da mu dopustiš da i on dođe tako blizu how does the father already know what i need kako otac već zna što mi je potrebno because he listens to me whisper zato što sluša moj šapat and i have to ask us gentlemen here today i moram nas zamoliti gospodo večeras Are you listening to the whispers of your people? Slušate li šapat svojih ljudi? Some of the people in our lives, neki ljudi u našim životima, are very hard to communicate with. S njima je jako teško komunicirati. And they won't whisper, they'll barely talk to us. Neće nam šaputat, teško da će uopće pričati s nama. But if we listen, ali ako slušamo, look at you've got two of these. Kažem, imate Dvoje ušiju, and you only have one of these. A imate samo jedna usta. Maybe the creator is trying to tell us something. Možda nam stvoritelj nešto pokušava reći. Two of these, dvoje ovih, one of these. Jedna usta. I'm just thinking there's some mathematical equation here. Mislim da ovdje ima neka matematička jednadžba. There are people in our lives, postoje ljudi u našim životima who have an extremely difficult time whispering kojima je jako teško nešto, nešto šapnuti. And I don't mean whispering, whispering, I mean trusting us. Mislim, ne na stvarno šaputanje, nego na imati povjerenja u nas. Trusting us with their fears. Imati povjerenja za podijeliti nam strahove. Trusting us with their, with their guilt, with their anxieties. Sa svojim krivnjama, sa svojim strahovima. Are we able to wait long enough until they can find a voice to whisper to us. Jesmo li spremni dovoljno čekati da pronađu taj glas kojim nam mogu šaputati? You are not God. Vi niste Bog. You don't know all things. Ne znate sve. But you can listen like God listens. Ali možete slušati kao što Bog sluša. And God might prophetically give you a gift of understanding. I možda vam Bog proročki da da razumijevanja. But God the Father anticipates what you need. Ali Bog Otac predviđa što će ti trebati. Because he knows your life and your heart. Jer pozna tvoj život i tvoje srce. How well do you know your people? Kako dobro vi znate svoje ljude? Can you just wait a few minutes? until you, your wife your child 
finally gets around to saying what they want to say. Jeste li spremni čekati da vaša žena ili vaše dijete napokon dođe do do srđe onoga što vam želi ispričati. Look, I'm 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 out of here in three minutes. You got something to say, you better say it. I got to go. Idem za tri minuta, ako imaš šta reći, reci, moram ići. No whispering happens in three minutes. Nikako šaputanje se neće dogoditi u tri minute. Your father anticipates you because he knows you. Tvoj otac predviđa što ti treba zato što te poznaje. Starting this afternoon. Počeći ovog popodneva. Wait for the whisper of your people. Počnite čekati šapat vaših ljudi. Saint Paul says we should anticipate one another in showing love. Kaže Sveti Pavao da trebamo predviđati jedne druge kada im iskazujemo ljubav. One of the things that the Father does for us. Jedna od stvari koju Otac čini za nas. He's present to us. Prisutan je s nama. Now, I think we all would say there are days when we don't feel it. Sigurno ćemo reći da postoje dani kada ne osjećamo da je prisutan, ne osjećamo da je tu. Whether you feel it or don't feel it, he's there. Ali bez obzira osjetili vi to ili ne, on je tu. Do you remember the story we heard last night about the boy going through the initiation on the mountain? Sjećate se one priče koje smo jučer čuli o mladom dečku koji je išao na inicijaciju i trebao prijeći preko planine? And he felt completely alone. I osjetio se potpuno sam. His experience was completely alone. Njegovo iskustvo je da je potpuno sam. But the reality is that his father was very close to him. Ali stvarnost je da je otac skroz blizu njemu. That's our God. To je naš Bog. God is never away from you. Bog nikad nije daleko od tebe. Sometimes it feels like it. Nekad se tako čini. Your father is never away from you. Tvoj otac nikad nije daleko od tebe. A lot of times people aren't expecting you to solve all their problems. They really not. Ponekad ljudi uopće ne očekuju da riješite sve njihove probleme. What people need is for you to be there for them. Ono što je ljudima bitno da ste tu s njima. Have you ever gone to a funeral? Slikad išli na sprovod. And you just don't have any words to say. Jednostavno nemate riječi koju bi izrekli. Or you go to a hospital as someone is very very ill. Ili odete u bolnicu nekome koji je jako jako bolestan. And you think what's what's even the point of doing this? I don't know what to say. I razmišljate si koji je uopće smisao ovoga? Ne ne što bi rekao, ne znam što bi rekao. And a person comes up and says, "Thank you so much for being here." I osoba ti dođe i kaže, "Hvala ti puno što si ovdje." Why? I'm not doing anything. Zašto ništa ne radim? I'm not fixing the problem. Ne rješavam tvoj problem. They don't need you to fix the problem. Ne treba ne treba je vas da bi riješili svoje probleme. They need you to be with them in the problem. Treba te da budeš s njima u tom problemu. How present are you to your people? Koliko si prisutan sa svojim bližnjima? That statistic uh, Anti gave earlier is terrifying. Ta statistika koju je Anten malo prije dao je zastrašujuća. In my country, a father spends five, six minutes a day with their kid. U mojoj zemlji otac provede pet do šest minuta dnevno sa svojim djetetom. And spends nine hours a day on their phone. A provede devet sati na svome mobitelu. Are you kidding me? Šta zar me zezaš? That that's demonic. To je demonski. It's 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 breaking us apart. Raz, 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 to nas trga na komadiće. Even as a son of God, you're not going to solve all the world's problems. Čak i kao sin Boži neće riješiti sve probleme svijeta. But you can be there with them in their problems. Ali možeš biti tamo s ljudima u njihovim problemima. You can do that. You can do that. To možeš. So I'm going to ask beginning this afternoon. I zato ću vas pitati počevši s ovim popodnevom that you would consider how to be more present to your people. Da razmislite kako biti više prisutni u životima svojih bližnjih. Not necessarily to fix them. Ne nužno da rješavate sve probleme. But to simply walk at their side. Ali da hodate uz njih. Another thing Jesus taught us about our Father is that he's there to defend us. Jedna stvar koju nas je Isus naučio našem ocu je da je tu da nas brani. It says that he's jealous for us. 
kaže da je ljubomoran za nas. The Old Testament says that he is zealous for us. Kaže da izgara za nama. That he will fight for us. Da će se boriti za nas. That he will defend us and protect us. Da će nas braniti, štititi. God, God is rushing into your world to defend and protect you. Bog trči, žuri u tvoj svijet da te spasi i brani. And Jesus says, Isus kaže, be like your heavenly father. Budi poput svog nebeskog oca. So my question would be, moje pitanje, who is God calling you to defend? Koga Bog zove da ti braniš? Who are you supposed to be fighting for? Za koga se trebaš boriti? Who are you supposed to be investing your life in? U koga trebaš uložiti svoj život? Who are you supposed to encourage? Koga trebaš ohrabriti? Who are you supposed to stand by and say I'm with you? Kraj koga trebaš stajati i reći mu s tobom sam, tu sam. Somebody out there needs you to fight on their side. Netko vani treba tebe da se boriš s njime na njegovoj strani. I've been very touched by um, as I've been talking to many of the brothers about many initiatives of prayer within the country. Uh, jako sam bio iznenađen i odušeljen kad sam pričajući s vama sa, sa braćom ovdje, čuo mnogim molitvenim inicijativama u vašoj zemlji. Interceding for people is a kind of a defense. Zagovaranje za ljude na neki način obrana, branjenje tih ljudi. Bringing your loved ones to the intentions at mass is defending them. Donošenje vaših bližnjih u svojim nakanama u misu je branjenje tih ljudi. Maybe it's an email, maybe it's a phone call. Možda je to email, možda je to neki poziv. But there's probably somebody out there who God wants you to defend. Ali vjerojatno je tamo neko koga Bog traži da ga braniš. You might want to ask your father who that is. Mogao bi pitati svog oca tko je to. And then go fight. I onda sidi bori za tu osobu. And fight hard for them. I bori se jako. And don't give up on them. I nemoj odustajati od njih. And bear the heat of battle for their sake. I bori se kako se on borio za njihovu stvar. One last thing. Posljednja stvar. God is our guide. Bog je naš vodič. A scripture from the Old Testament says, uh, pismo u Starom Zavjetu kaže, you will hear a voice behind you. Čućeš glas iza sebe. That says, to kaže, this is the way, walk in it. Ovo je put, hodaj njime. God does not enjoy seeing you bouncing into walls. Bog ne uživa gledajući tebe kako udaraš u zidove. God doesn't want you to stumble in darkness. Bog ne želi da zapneš u nekoj tami. God doesn't want you or any of your people to be trapped by sin. Bog ne želi da si ti ili bilo ko od tvojih bližnjih bude zarobljen grijehom. God is our guide. Bog je naš vodič. And will show us a way forward. I pokazat će nam put naprijed. But perhaps there's somebody you know who is struggling. Ali možda ti znaš nekoga tko je u teškoćama. Maybe there's somebody who is lost in sin. Možda je tamo netko koga znaš ko je zarobljen grijehom. Maybe there's somebody who is bouncing off the walls in your life. Možda je neko u tvom životu za kog znaš da udara u zidove i luta okolo. There's no guarantee that you can change their mind. Nema nikakve garancije da da ti možeš promijeniti njihov život. But you can try to guide them. Ali možeš pomoć u tome da ih vodiš. You can speak the truth. Možeš im govoriti istinu. With great love. Sa puno ljubavi. With great humility. Sa puno poniznosti. With great discernment. Sa puno razlučivanja. Sometimes I talk to people. Ponekad pričam s ljudima. And they slam the door. I samo zatvore vrata. They don't want to hear anything. Ne žele ništa čuti. I, I tried. Pokušao sam. And then I meet somebody who seems like they have no interest in these things. I onda sretnem nekoga ko se čini da uopće nema nikakvu nikakvog interesa za te stvari. And God says, oh, go talk to him. I kažem, oj, kažem mi like go talk to that person about the problem. Odi, odi pričaj s tom osobom o tom problemu. And I'm I'm arguing with God. God, they don't care. They're not going to listen. I kažem Bogu, a zašto bi? Pa neće slušati uopće. N- nema smisla. And God says, 
Go. Just go. Bo kaže, idi. Ajde. So you go to the person who you think doesn't care at all. Odeš kod osobe za koju misliš da ju uopće nije briga. And they actually listen to what you're saying. I stvari poslušaju ono što im kažeš. And to your astonishment, they actually say, you know, you're right. And they they turn the direction of their life. I na tvoje opće zaprepaštenje, stvari kažu da, u pravu si i promijene svoj život. You know, as Catholics, we've been taught that there's two basic ways that we sin. Kao katolici rečeno nam je da postoje dva osnovna načina na koji griješimo. There are the sins of commission. Postoje griješi dijelima. The bad things we should not do that we do. Loše stvari koje ne bi trebali raditi, a radimo ih. But there's also the sins of omission. Ali i postoje griješi propustom. The good things we should do that we never actually do. Dobre stvari koje bi trebali raditi, ali stvari nikad ih ne radimo. When I was younger, kad sam bio mlađi, I was always worried about the sins of commission. Uvijek sam se bojao činjenja grijeha dijelom. Oh, I, I should have done that. I should have said that. Nisam trebao to reći, nisam to trebao napraviti. As I'm getting older, kako starim? I'm more and more concerned about the sins of omission. Sve više me brinu grijesi propustom. The times I could have said something. Trenuci kad sam nešto mogao reći. But I was afraid. Ali sam bio uplašen. The time I should have said something. Trenuci kad sam nešto trebao izreći. But it was inconvenient. Ali mi nije bilo zgodno. There is a terrifying line from the Old Testament. Postoji jedna jako zastrašujuća um, za strašujući redak iz starog zavjeta. And here's what God says through his prophet. I evo što Bog kaže svom proroku. If I send you to talk to somebody, ako te pošaljem da s nekim razgovaraš, to try to correct their path, da bi ispravio njihove putove. And you you go to them and you talk to them, odeš kod njih i razgovaraš s njima, and they shut you down. I odbiju te. That's not on you. To ne ide na tebe. If I send you to go talk to somebody, ako te pošaljem da odeš pričaš s nekim, and you don't go, i ti ne odeš, and the person stays in their darkness, i osoba ostane u svojoj tami, and is destroyed in their darkness, i uništena je u svojoj tami, and I ask you to go and talk to them, a ja sam te tražio i molio da odeš pričat s njom, and you would not do it, i ti to ne učiniš. And now they're lost in darkness. Sad su izgubljeni u svojoj tami. I'm going to talk to you when it's your time to come to me. Pričat ću s tobom o tome kad mi dođeš na sud. That scares me. To me plaši. Because, brothers, there's probably all kinds of people who are saying, is, is there a God, is there any, any way I can find help here? Jer vjerojatno postoji hrpa ljudi koji se razmišljaju i govore postoji li tu negdje Bog? Da li mi može pomoć? And don't make the mistake I've made. I nemojte napraviti pogrešku koju sam ja napravio. I think I know who's open and I'm sure I know who's closed. Mislio sam da znam tko je otvoren i da potpuno znam ko je zatvoren. And I'm wrong almost every time. I gotovo uvijek sam u krivu. So I I've kind of stopped figuring out who who should and who shouldn't and all that. Prestao sam razmišljati o tome ko je otvoren, ko nije. Ko bi mogao čuti ili ne? My theory is it's better to put the truth out there. Moja teorija je da je bolje izreći istinu, staviti ju na vidjelo. If, if somebody doesn't like it, I, I can't help that. Ako me se neko me ne sviđa, ne mogu im pomoći. What, what if in the course of the next five years of your life, the next five years of your life, you talk to a lot of men and a lot of men just shut you down? Što bi se dogodilo da u idući pet godina pričate sa hrpom ljudi i svi vas odbiju, odbaci? But the next five years, one man turns his life around because of what you said. Ali u tih idućih pet godina da samo jedna osoba promijeni svoj život zbog onoga što ste mu rekli. You will have had a very good five years. Znači da ste imali jako dobri pet godina. Because you and I cannot comprehend the wealth of one of God's sons. Jer ni ti ni ja ne možemo obujmiti svatit bogatstvo jednog Božijeg sina. Look at the cross. Pogledajte na križ. And you know how much that soul cost God. I vidjećete koliko je Boga koštala ta duša. So 
Be like your heavenly Father. Budite kao nebeski otac. Consider being more generous. Razmislite o tome da budete velikodušni. Consider being more patient with other people. Razmislite da budete strpljiviji sa drugima. Let people whisper to you. Nekam ljudi šapuću. And you will know their hearts and know what they need. I upoznaćete njihova srca i njihove potrebe. Even if you cannot fix everybody's problems, please at least try to be more present to them. Čak i ako ne možete riješiti probleme nekih ljudi, pokušajte biti prisutni u njihovim životima. Be willing to defend the people God has called you to defend. Budite spremni braniti one koje vas je Bog, Bog, na koje vas je Bog pozvao da ih branite. Do not be afraid of the fight. Ne bojte se borbe. Cowardice is much worse. Kukavičluk je puno, puno gori. And finally, be willing to be a guide to help people find their way back to their father. I budite spremni biti vodič onima koji traže put kocu. This talk would be ridiculous ovaj govor bi bio bezazlan except for the power of God. Ako nema Božje snage. I don't think I can become like God. Ja ne mislim da mogu postati poput Boga. But God thinks I can become like him. Ali Bog misli da mogu postati poput njega. I trust God more than I trust myself. Vjerujem Bogu više nego što vjerujem sebi. If Jesus said to us, be like your heavenly Father. Ako mi je Isus rekao, budi poput svog nebeskog Oca, then let's stop the debate. Onda pre, prestanimo s debatiranjem. Let's stop all the excuses. Prestanimo sa izlikama. And beginning this afternoon, right now, i ovog popodneva počnimo. Let us decide. Odlučimo to be more like our heavenly father biti više nalik na našeg oca amen god bless Amen. You.